Um, he showed me a school in Miami and he said to me, all these kids are HIV positive. I said, Lord, that can't be so because these are little kids. Even the white ones, he says, I said, all. I said, Lord, show me how it's done. Don't tell me. Show me how it's done. One day I was waiting for one of my kids. Here comes a little kid, probably about six or seven, drinking a Coke. And a bigger kid, probably about 16 or 17, runs to the little one, Shana, let me have a sip. Takes a sip. The Almighty God says to me, you just witnessed the little one being infected. Hence, there are in the U.S. population much more people than we do think. And social scientists are not stupid. Because I went to a master's class and I did social scientology and I, I have an idea how we as a population are taught to think. So I'm able to look at it from both sides. He said to me that the U.S. population, 50% of the people are HIV positive. I said, Lord, the statistic says black people. He said, I didn't say anything about black people. I said 50% of the people. Okay, Lord, break it down to me now. We have 300 million people in the U.S. We only have 45 million black people. Therefore, if 50% of the people are HIV positive, that means 150 million are HIV positive. Okay, assuming all black people are HIV positive, then that's 45 million out of the 150. There is therefore left 105 million white ones who are positive and not being treated. This is reverse discrimination. And the reason behind this is dollars and cents. If one is found to be HIV positive, then that person is disabled and there are grants and benefits to be obtained. Now, if we have to give, and we being the American society, have to give the 105 million whites, then the benefit package would, would skyrocket. So, it is easier to blame it on blacks, give it to blacks, and leave the whites out. In fact, when the whites, when the whites are in their terminal stages, you tell them that they have leukemia, lupus, and a lot of brand new diseases. We look, he showed me on my website, if you go, you will see the Jamaica's population, Britain's population, and so on. People who are now in their 50s, when you look at the, at the kids coming up today, and you look at a bunch of kids, and look at their overall health, one can realize that these kids may not be able to make it for the next 30 years, and they are only 15, 16, because there is no strength in their bodies and the strength is because they're infected. But the government has done a marvelous job with what it has been given to work with. All it has is the heart therapy. Now, this is saying, the Lord God is saying, hey, here is the cure, one in which 21 days supply, three times a day for 21 days, and that patient is cured of that strain. Of that strain. And why of that strain? It's of that strain because each person have a different DNA. 
Sound reasonable? Yes. Each person have a different DNA. Now, when the virus attaches to, to my DNA, then this is my virus. It's unique to only me. When the virus attaches to your DNA, then it's going to be unique to you. Different strain. Now you have two HIV positive people. One on the left, one on the right, taking meds. This one is, is taking three of one tablet four times a day, and this is taking only one tablet a day. They get together, and what they do is that they swap or switch. So this one is now becomes infected by this one, and this one becomes infected by this one. Now they both go to the doctor and wondering, man, how come I used to be, my viral load used to be perfect when I was taking these medications and all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore because they have been infected by a new strain. Because every person in the world have a different strain. Therefore, Unless there's an intervention of the living God, we as scientists can only do the very best we can. And we've been doing the best we can. But the best is kind of running a little bit short with the people we have and the amount that we have dying. And not only dying, because those are gone, it's the ones who are left that are stacked up, ready to die, in which they are completely non-productive to the society. And we don't have the resources to give all of them that which they need. So, this is why what I'm all, all people have a different strain, and therefore the Almighty God has to intervene. He has given me on the website other countries as to where their their level of um, where their level of uh, HIV is and it is not only staggering and frightening looks as if I'm crazy putting those numbers on it but those are the numbers that he gave me at the time he gave me and people continue to procreate and people kids in school continue to swap saliva via various toys, instruments. Okay, so what did I do with all of this lovely information? After that, my God gave me all this information, I sent all of this in research forms of various kind. Because the Almighty does not want me to write this as a research paper as if I did it. One girl in England says, don't you know the format to write it? Yes, I know the format. But the Almighty God says, write it this way, my way, the way that is on the internet. So I sent it to research agencies, universities, hospitals, clinics, politicians, and the list goes on and on and on. In fact, I, 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 I do recall that the Almighty God showed me an easy, quick method how to extract from this the active ingredient. And he showed me, and I said, what do I do with it now? And he said, send it to the president. So while I was, had my name as a Republican governor for Florida, I sent that sample to the presidential office. I haven't heard from them, but they, I know they are still wondering, what is this? We have never seen anything like it. No, because it is a new substance. I've sent this to newspapers, etc., etc., etc. The problem I'm having is that as soon as anybody says, how did you come by? And I said, God, everybody go click, click.